This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is the Catalyst 200 Bicycle U-Lock. This is made by Bell, a well-known manufacturer of bicycle accessories. And according to the packaging that came with this lock, it ranks a four out of five on their security scale. And they say that it has been tested by an independent laboratory and found to be theft resistant. Now, just looking at this lock, we can certainly see why that representation may seem reasonable. We have a very thick hardened steel shackle that is covered with a layer of rubber to keep it from scratching your bike up. That shackle is set into a lock body with about a one, inch, one eighth inch layer of chromed hardened steel on the outside. And if we open the lock up, we can see that the shackle locks into the, the body using a couple of relatively thick locking bolts. And I have checked, they are not shimmable. So all in all, with the physical construction, it seems like Bell did an all right job. Looking at the core, we can see that it is a seven pin tubular core, but a little bit different from what you may have seen on other locks. Most tubular locks have a small notch in the center post right at the 12 o'clock position. And that's something that we take advantage of when picking tubular locks. If we look at this tubular lock, we can see that notch. And usually what we'll do is we'll take a tubular lock tensioning tool like this, snag onto that notch and use it to turn the core. Well, Bell was aware of that trick and they decided to keep us from doing it by removing that notch from the center post. Instead, this lock is tensioned from a small ring that's right underneath the outer face plate, and that ring has a notch in the 12 o'clock position. That ring in turn is turned by that small notch on the end of the key, or a small lug, I guess, on the end of the key. Now, we can easily access that, that notch in the ring when this lock is in its locked 12 o'clock position. However, if you do have to pick this more than one position, and that is the case with this bicycle lock, you do have to turn it at least two positions to retract the locking bolts, it becomes very, very difficult to access that ring. So Bell certainly did its homework and tried its best to make this a pick resistant tubular core. However, when they sat down to design this lock, they seem to have forgotten a history lesson. Looking at this packaging, we can see this was made somewhere in the neighborhood of 2014. About 10 years before that, in 2004, another manufacturer of bicycle accessories, Kryptonite, was having a serious problem with some of their own bicycle U-locks that took tubular cores. They were making the news for all the wrong reasons. And when I say the news, I mean New York Times, LA Times, all of the big media outlets, because they baked a pretty significant security flaw into their tubular locks. That security flaw is this. In their tubular locks, under each of the pins, there was an equal strength spring. And in each of the pin, pin stacks, there was an equal length driver pin. Now that might not sound too bad, but what that means is that when you apply equal force to each of these pins, all of the shear lines for each of the pin stacks will automatically line up and we can open these locks quite quickly. Now, in the case of that kryptonite lock, a clever person found out that you could do that using a Bic pen, so that made for great sensational news. However, for many, many years, there have been tools like this available that are specifically designed to exert equal force on each of the pin stacks. If we look at it, you can see that we have the barrel of the tool and around it are six little picking fingers that slide back and forth. Those picking fingers are each held into place by these rubber bands that go around the barrel of the, the lock and they apply resistance to each of these little picking fingers. Let's actually, let's get these all lined up. They apply resistance to each of these fingers, which in turn allows the fingers to apply equal force to each of the pins in the lock. 
So on those locks that do have the security flaw I described, that being the equal strength springs and equal length driver pins, a tool like this will usually open it very, very quickly. So it looks like Bell did or made a lot of effort to keep this lock from being picked. Let's see if they fixed that security flaw. Well, okay, usually it takes two or three little motions like that, but we got it in one just there. So we just open this lock as fast as using the key. So it seems pretty clear that they did not fix that security flaw, and it's an easy, easy flaw to fix. All you have to do, and what most manufacturers will do, is use springs of different strengths. They'll vary it around the lock, and that's all you need to be all you need to do and if that were the case this would be a relatively tricky lock to open however bell got a little bit lazy they did not fix that very well-known security flaw and because of that we have a lock that can be compromised as quickly as using the key so certainly disappointing and in my opinion inexcusable that's all I have for you today on this Catalyst 200 Bicycle U-Lock from Bell. If you do have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.